Vie les arts au Kauka. Et au Kauka, le sous davantage. Okay. So when we went to film school, <clears throat> especially for people like me, well, when I was like, I wanted to make feature films and narratives, as like teachers tell tells you that documentary is a good exercise, you know, to make films, and so oh, you find these boring things. At least when I was younger, but actually it's true, and more than that, you realize later that these great movies that you admire have this strong documentary background, and in the same time they want to make it like a real big feature films. And so these combinations create like a nice balance. What I try to do to, to achieve in this film is like trying to get the real Kinshasa in, have this sense of documentary, the streets, the noise, the people, the houses, you know, all the handcrafts around that, but in the same time being a real feature film, like a gangster movie. Uh, the most difficult part was how to keep that balance right and how like to bring to the audience that feeling of like, okay, this, this sounds real, but at the same time it's like, is a real, real entertainment. What I did is like I brought in a casting director from France and she did a casting of like 300, 400 people. We selected 20, we put them in a big workshop. They had talent, people have talent, you know, actors in a place like that, you know, in the poor country people act because they need to act, so they're, they're good. But we need to give them some like technical tools, you know, to, to, to play in front of a camera. We did that for two months and then for another two months just before shooting and then we did the rehearsals, uh, you know, making the film so everybody was ready. I wanted to make a story which is as like uh, uh, about the city, about my hometown Kinshasa. But I really like, I like this kind of poetry, this kind of craziness, but also uh, this kind of like uh, melancholia and difficult part, you know, this little drama that we don't talk about. It was really important to have that. I wanted to talk about Kinshasa in the last 20 years, maybe, about the Zaire, about the war, I mean, the violence, and also what is Congo today, a country which is trying, like, you know, uh, to find its identity. I mean, not finding its identity, but to find a new identity. So I put, like, different elements, especially the violence, you know, Azar, which is really a character coming from Zaire, you know, you can feel his manners, the bodyguard. That's a certain attitude. River was completely different. He's just someone who is more like a Congolese modern, you know. He has been through so many things and he tries to survive on a day-to-day -day basis. In a city where everything is for sale. Riva has something everyone wants. Riva. Riva. Riva Langa. Come on, Riva. But what Riva wants most belongs to another man. So you continue. Like a book I make make. Viva, Riva.